Hello, my name is Michael Dardon. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, which means I'm not used to performing for a crowd this sober. <laughs> I am just returning from Remini, Italy, where I'm representing the United States at the World Championships of Magic, and I would like to share with you my competition act. I'm going to start by doing something that most magicians don't do, and that is explaining how my magic is done. I have an anti-gravity <laughs> ring. This ring creates the illusion of skill as it appears to float across my fingers. What's actually happening is it suppresses my belief in gravity. You can see that I don't believe in gravity as I have this ring. I can do it with both hands because I happen to be dyslexic. Uh. <laughs> the ring is an anti-gravity ring, so if I were to drop the ring, it doesn't fall. It ends up back on my finger where it started. Oh. The ring actually gives me ninja-like uh, reflexes. Hiya! Oh. <laughs> now, if you were to see that, um, let's say, if you were to see that in slow motion, it might look something like this. Oh. <laughs> Well balanced is because it has a ball bearing that fits right wow. inside. Wow. The, ball fits, the ball bearing fits perfectly inside the ring, which allows me to spin it. I can spin it for a while, and if I time it just right, put it on that way. Wow. Um, I would like to now borrow an object from the crowd. Um, if anybody has a fork. <laughs> uh, nobody brought a. Um, that's, we'll, we'll do it the hard way. What the fork? <laughs> Sit fork, it's a clean show. I will now attempt to bend metal using the power of my mind. <laughs> and reverse. Okay, it helps when you have one of these. <laughs> I got this on an infomercial for this diet program. <laughs> Saw this no, I, uh, I can bend metal with my mind, folks, but it takes me a long time. So I think it'd be more impressive to change this gag fork into a real fork. Shh. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry, can you see it? I can, if I clean it off, you can, might be able to make it out. Oh, this is an invisible fork, actually. <laughs> not, not a real fork. This is a real fork. <laughs> See, because it's a fork on a wheel. Okay, I don't have time to explain all the jokes. And the good thing is it resets instantly. <laughs> now, where did I put my invisible? Ah, here we go. Uh, I call this an invisible fork. Sean Farquhar, uh, past president of the IBM, would call this an Omni fork. Oh, it's awesome. I make it in my garage at home. It comes with a DVD for 4017. <laughs> 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 Which is great at Fism. I got to do that with him sitting right there as my volunteer. It was awesome. I would like to now share with you, I'm not originally from New Orleans. I grew up in Cajun country, and one of my first mentors, an old Cajun magician, used to carry this little briefcase. As you can see, it's pretty brief. <laughs> and when he would open it, we would hear a brief story about this and that. So this one is this, and this one is that. And this right here is a ball bearing. <laughs> now, if you were to see that fall in slow motion, it might look like this. <laughs> so uh, that one is this, and this one is that, and this right here, that's my bottle of Jack. Um, but in New Orleans, we call that medicine. <laughs> so he would put this in one hand and that in the other, but somehow, like magic, this and that found each other. Oh. Now, that was with my Cajun accent, because I grew up in South Louisiana, but I'm not originally from there either. I was born in France, so I'd like to perform the next part for you, en français, with this one, that one. Une de ma mère, l'autre de ma poche, je dis le mot de magie, la pas la patate, et voilà, pas du tout.
something else that I have in my little briefcase. It's also invisible, my little invisible handbag. I remember I, I asked my mentor, what you call, what you keep in that little handbag? He said, my little hand. <laughs> he, told, he told me, he said, keep your hand in your pocket all the time. Because when you want to do magic, you got to be ready to wave your hand. And sure enough, when he would wave his hand like that over his little handbag, he would reach in and he would find this. Wow. And he would find out. Oh. Now, I know magic is much better when you're on hallucinogenics. And since some of you aren't, <laughs> I brought with me, I don't have enough for the, uh, the whole crowd, but um, would you come right over here? Because I have something special for you. Check this out. You get to watch the next part in 3D. Yes, yeah, so if you would slip those on, Christian. Thank you very much. Because in my little handbag, I have... Something else, I have another fork. And if, oh. if I have an anti-gravity ring, I can manipulate other objects so they appear to defy gravity as well. Check that out with the glasses, is that cool? Yeah. It's crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. If I bend the metal with my mind, it's gonna look like it's coming right at you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, like 3D, is that wild? <laughs> you, can, you can almost touch it, almost, yeah. <laughs> If you would give me the glasses back, though, because um, I want to watch Avatar again. But I do, um, I do want to show you the Spanish version of this and that. So we're going to try this in Spanish. Señor this and señor that. This is uno y dos. If you you got to press down on one of those to hear the Spanish version. Perfect. You press two for Spanish. Good call. <laughs> We're in Florida, so they get it. Senor, this is the Amarillo. Senor, that is the Roja. Senor, this is the Azul. I actually don't do that much blue material. Oh. But you do, I can tell by your hair. Give no. Christian a round of applause. <laughs> uh, all this stuff resets instantly, which is great. Um, you know who hates this prop right here? Airport security. Yeah, they're always like, sir, you want to explain this? I said, no. <laughs> it's a whole routine. You want me to set up? You dump my bag out. I may as well. <laughs> and then so I, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't uh, think it was a joke. And they said, uh, put your hands where I can see them. I said, fine. I have this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I brought it on myself because I tried to check my briefcase. I put it on the conveyor belt. <laughs> I don't know what the big deal was because the only thing in there was my anti-gravity ring. So then what I did was I put it on for a real slick like this. I said, watch, I can spin it so fast. You don't even see it. It's already back on. Yeah. No, no, not thanks both of you. No, hold it. Say, uh, all together or not at all. But they were so impressed they let me keep my medicine. Yeah. Now, in New Orleans, we call this medicine. Yeah. And, uh, but um, I had to show them the trick again. So I said, uh, let me show you what I call Lord of the Rings. One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all. And in the darkness. Find them. poem I wrote. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote that one, so hang on, clean up a little bit. <laughs> well, they still wanted to confiscate the fork. I said, guys, this isn't a, a real fork. It's a prop in my act. It's not a real fork. It's an invisible fork. See, this is a real fork. <laughs> and this is my real hair. <laughs> As if the situation wasn't hairy enough, right? I had to show him how it was done. I said, look, right in my hat here, I have, oh, okay, see, I bent this one with my mind, y'all, but it took me like three days. <laughs> Not that entertaining. Oh, sack of blue. I forgot that was in there. Here we go. Oh, and this is where I keep my 
deja vu. <laughs> and, uh, oh, here it is. My, uh, I found my, my fork, so later if we go to the banquet or whatever, I'm gonna need to have it. I, I didn't realize, how, I've been practicing this a lot. Actually. I'm a pretty big fan of plasticware. <laughs> big fan of plastic, I'm not gonna explain the jokes. But, uh, just, in case, just in case they do confiscate my medicine, I, uh, I do keep a travel size right here in my head. Oh, yeah. so we don't need that anymore. Yeah, thank you. That's, um, and actually that got through airport security, which is an interesting story in itself. If you're worried about the stupid fork, yeah. look what I got here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so if you ever do want to sneak something on, get one of those extendable forks and they'll just <laughs> bug you about that and you keep the bomb in your shoe. So, uh, <laughs> 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 you want the fork, really? So, <laughs> no, they, honestly, they don't fork around, so you don't want to mess with them. <laughs> but, um, I did want to explain how I can fit so much in my hat. Um, it is a well-balanced hat because it has a ball bearing. Oh. Oh. Uh, it's actually time for me to get the fork out of hair. What the? Oh. Oh, sorry, all this stuff. Yeah, you can moan. All this resets instantly, which is great. So I'll be right out of here. Let me just make a little room. Oh! Well, guys, I had a ball. Thank you very much.